Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carla. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for tuning in. So today I'm going to be sharing a mini Zara haul. This was not intentional. I have purposely stayed off the Zara website and app because I did a deep closet cleanse this past year. I do it every so often with a few items and I was really shocked to see how much stuff I was selling and giving away from Zara and I realized that you know Zara can be really addicting if you're not careful like you could get really sucked up in the whole just like oh I need this piece I need the oh I saw that online and I I had to put it into it and I'm definitely more intentional with like what I buy and just making sure that it fits my style but I recently I actually was just looking for one item at Zara and then I realized that they really upped their game as far as like store layout um even their online and app um presentation now online you get a on the runway uh visual of how the items look in movement which is whoever was behind that did a great job like I kid you not even the in-store experience like you feel like you're shopping in a department store or a boutique or a luxury store like I don't know what the strategy is but it's working you know what I do know the strategy but it's working and they they got me <laughs> um but for the most part I do try to avoid shopping at Zara like I said because it's, it's very easy to get sucked up in the trends but I just want to go ahead and show some shop worthy items some items that look more elevated and I think could pass as luxury pieces that was the whole reason why I did pick up these items because like I said I'm trying to distance myself from that whole fast fashion like cheap cheap poorly made clothing so if you do want to see what I picked up then just stay tuned so like I had mentioned in my previous videos I do want to up my accessory game because I realized that how large of a role accessories play in the styling of your outfit just like taking it up a next level and I did see this one particular item online and I just coincidentally found it on the website and it just it looks it really does look like a designer ring and it actually in my opinion it kind of falls in that department with the the arty ring from saint laurent and it has that kind of abstract design which i've been really into as you can see um i i love a statement ring or a statement jewelry in general this is actually from banani but i'm just gonna go ahead and show you the ring that i picked up and it is this they call it on the website let me get it into focus they call it on the website the twisted ring and it's very oversized let me go ahead and put it on my finger it only comes in two sizes oh my god focus girl this ring only comes in two sizes it comes in the size small and medium i of course got the medium because i from one i don't think my fingers are skinny or slim i think i wear between sizes seven and eight and they even provide a measurement online when you're purchasing this ring it comes in two colors gold and silver now this ring is constantly sold out you have to stock it to get your hands on it when i tell you i was checking that website first off i saved it um to my wish list and i kept checking to see when it was coming back in stock it was in stock in a size small and i just did not see the point in like purchasing it just to end up returning it but i finally got it and i'm so happy i did like girl she is such a statement ring like she is ko like i know i have some rings on right now but when i tell you she is gorgeous like big and bold and i think they create this ring as a collection the bracelet that goes with it was sold out and i was like 
listen i'm already happy enough that i got this but i did pick up a bracelet that kind of matches it a bit and it is this i think it's called the circular cuff now it, it has that like um that projected edge that's very similar on this ring i think that these pair together is just gorgeous like you could honestly have on a simple dress and you're just gonna look all you're just gonna look fabulous like without even trying for sure and i have not worn it yet i know that this is gonna be a vibe in the summer wear with like a very sexy slinky dress you know you know the vibes and I'm just so happy that I picked it up. I thought about getting it in the silver color, but I don't really wear silver like that. Even though I have been playing with it, I'm just more of a gold girl, but who knows? You know, um, if I'm feeling it, then I will. And I do think I still want to pick up the cuff that matches this ring uh, better than this. I'm, I'm still going to keep this because I think what I'm going to do is just wear this cuff on one wrist and then the other a uh, cuff on the other wrist and yeah just kind of create like a whole um look with that but this is cute as well i'm telling you like i have to really commend zara on stepping up their game because i i lost faith so the first set that i want to show is this seafoam ribbed set the top is actually a cow neck midi dress so it actually can be worn on, on its own and i just went ahead and paired it with the pants that it matches with i think that it just gives it a more full luxurious look and it has like a, a lettuce kind of hem to it now i would have to say that i was slightly disappointed when i did receive this in my package it didn't feel as silky as it appeared online and online you do see the runway visual of the model walking down the runway with it on and honestly zara did a great job with now giving you a runway experience with it initially i did get this in a size medium and it was way too big um even the size small that when i swapped it out it's still a bit baggy but it's way better I did receive this by mail first and then I went in store to see if I can exchange it and that was actually my first time experiencing the new remodeled layout of the Zara store and I I don't really go to the Zara inside um, the city they, I, there's a few Zara's in the city that I really like shopping at like the one in Soho the one on Fifth Avenue I just been shopping online a lot more these days i, I want to say that since covid honestly i'm just an online shopper like i just it's more intimate for me i can take my time so i'm going off on a tangent but in store actually it really captivated me because the new layout it gives you a more luxurious high fashion um you know these fashion houses when you go to their boutiques and their stores like that's what i was feeling that's what it was giving and they're doing a great job whatever they're doing but anyways so i thought that this was going to have a more plush feel to it that it was going to be more silky and it was going to lay on top of one another with ease it is kind of rigid as far as like overlapping one another because i don't know i just you'll see on in the try on what i'm talking about nonetheless this color is really beautiful i don't regret buying it and i think that this is going to be really complimentary with the jewelry too that i purchased like look this is going to be super cute together and these each cost 39.90 which isn't a bad deal and honestly when i was shopping in store i just kept seeing like tracy ellis ross you know the inspo or at least she's my inspo girl and i and that goes to show you that what zara is trying to do is trying to give you farrakhano they're trying to give you bottega you know they're giving you la maybe i'm thinking too far ahead but I, 
I, I think I see the vision I see the direction and I have to give them props and the next item that gave luxury and actually you know influenced me to go ahead and purchase it is this I can't even call it button up because it's actually a zip was this zip up poplin shirt now what did what did it for me was the green stripe going down the center with the zipper this is a different take on the poplin shirt and not to mention it does give you bottega green these luxury houses do a really great job by selecting colors and when you see the color automatically you associate it with luxury now this zara shirt with the green stripe going down the middle it does it for me like look at this this does it does look like it could come from Bottega, legit, you know, and I know that there's a stigma of like purchasing dupes and like stuff along the lines of that, but I mean, it's affordable and it looks clean. It looks expensive. So I'm going to buy it. And I know that this is something that's going to stay in my wardrobe for years to come. Like, I feel like as long as you you're not purchasing items that you just wear for one season and then you're tossing it i will say that like my way of shopping now i have way more clothing retention now than i ever did before and it's just because i know myself and i know my style and i'm very comfortable and i'm very settled in it so i felt comfortable purchasing something like this it's very easy to wear it I love oversized items as you can see I love oversized t-shirts I love oversized button-up shirts it just fits right into my wardrobe and I just think that this is going to be a very easy wear in this spring and I am going to keep bringing up Tracy Ellis Ross because she is definitely like my inspiration as far as style Tracy Ellis Ross she just has a really great way of like blending luxe sport or sport luxe along with like dress like she i'm going to go ahead and insert some pictures because she just she gets it like that's my girl like she is definitely like that fashion girl but honestly i saw a picture of her this purchase actually was inspired by that picture and it is these white trousers and when I saw these online, they look, they look beautiful on the model. Like they look opaque. They look, you know, the the material looks very luxurious as well. And once again, I was slightly disappointed when I did get them in person because they were a little see-through. And I get it like white pants are going to have a little bit of transparency, but I have another pair of white trousers from Zara and I honestly I like the feel of those more than this like this feels a little gritty just a little bit and I don't know if it's maybe with wear and like me washing it it'll get a little bit smoother but she's still beautiful she is a high-waisted uh, wide leg trousers and I got this in a size medium because according to the measurements of the item online I just thought that this was going to give me a more comfortable fit because I do intend on tucking shirts into this like how Tracy Ellis Ross did in her um in her photo and you know I thought about pairing this with my JW Anderson loafers or some sneakers these are a bit long for me so I don't know if I should get them you know um tailored a bit I'm still on the fence about keeping it because I do think that Zara has a couple of more white trousers that I can explore so but you you get the vision that I was going for I just thought that this was going to be a great item to dress up with you know give that very cool girl look I'm looking forward to wearing this in the spring as well yeah and the last item that I have in person is this I can't even call it leather but it's this black fringe belt with the gold detail and automatically I thought of like high high fashion like 
Bottega. I don't know about Loewe. I don't really feel like this is their aesthetic, but you know, um, maybe even Farragamo, something like this. Like it does, I saw the vision and I thought that it was going to look a little bit more luxurious in person, but for some reason, this shade of gold, it doesn't look as like rich. And I can't be mad because it is Zara. Like I got this for how much? Let me see. I got it for $39.90. You know, like I saw the, I saw the vision, but it fell just a little short. Now I bought this with the intention of wearing it with my white blazer from the Frankie shop. I have not tried it on together yet. You're gonna see it in this video. I thought that this was going to be a great belt to also wear with like trousers or over some other blazers or maybe even with a coat. Yeah, with a coat. That'd be cute too. So um, I'm gonna see, uh, depending on how many looks i can create with this and it looked like decent maybe i'll i'll keep it you know it wasn't super expensive but it didn't exactly meet my expectations so yeah but i do plan on purchasing a few more items from zara i'm going to show you some of the items that i think is worth buying depending on how it comes in the mail like if it actually looks as luxurious as it appears online on zara they have this cord set where it definitely gives me like carrie bradshaw sex in the city kind of vibes to it um there's this midi the slinky midi skirt with like a a whole to neck top to go with it slight it's like a slight cow high neck top um halter top and it comes in a really beautiful sage color that is something that i'm definitely going to pick up in my next purchase um honestly it was a struggle to get all of the items that i have even in one purchase because some items were sold out and they would come back in stock in different times so like if if you are shopping on zara just be prepared to have like different purchases because it's very unlikely to get all of the items that you like in one order and i saw this it looks like a collegiate kind of um inspired top as well as the deep v-neck bodysuit i like how that looks i don't know how it's gonna look in person but that also gives like a very sexy preppy look um the way that they have it styled on the website it's paired with some some like low rise jeans i don't know if i'll wear it like that but the color the wash color of the jeans i could definitely pair that together with one of my levi's i definitely want to pick up a pair of black trousers as well i'm just really in my comfortable loose oversized like era right now really feeling that really love that Oh, I saw this like beaded bra and short set in person in Zara. I'm going to plug it in this video as well. It was gorgeous in person. I don't know if the price point is worth the purchase. I don't know, but it is really gorgeous. Um, I don't think I would wear it like alone as a set. Maybe I would wear the bralette like under a pop lisher or over it and then pair it with the shorts like in the summer like for maybe like a very cool like summer beachy look maybe that's super cute beautiful in person and then i saw this glittery sequin dress on the mod not the not the model the mannequin in store it looked gorgeous in person great for like an evening out um maybe for a, an occasion as well super gorgeous in person it is kind of short so i don't know if i would wear it as a dress maybe like paired with those white trousers that i have that'd be super cute as well and oh i am wait i saw this i saw this skirt online it wasn't actually um as a standalone product it was paired with um some shoes that i saw in store but when i saw the skirt online I, i've been stuck in the zara website i've been waiting for it to come in stock i don't know if it was on in stock and it, it was sold out but 
I knew that this looked familiar and I'm gonna tell you what brand this skirt literally is a dupe of the Bottega Veneta embossed croc leather skirt girl when that comes in stock I'm getting it like it looks honestly I think the Zara version looks better than the Bottega version now that I'm looking at it online like it's almost identical but I don't know wait you know what the Bottega has a, a more expensive looking finish to it but I do like that kind of like raw cut on the Zara version and it looks like it's a bit more stiff which in my opinion I would prefer the material or the shaping I should say of the Zara wait until it comes in stock it's over Zara has a couple of satin uh, midi skirts that I actually want to get I was really right in the fence about getting it because I love the idea of midi you know satin pleated skirts but I don't pull them out enough like I really love having them in my wardrobe for like occasions but I, I really need to utilize them I'm not and they're so gorgeous you know you could wear it with like a t-shirt crop shirt or a dainty top and I need to wear it more oh and then they have some low they have a couple of cute loafers I want to get into you know these loafers now these tassel loafers they, I'll just pop in a picture of a few that I had my eye on and they're actually in my favorites list uh Zara's doing their thing they're doing their thing I'm not I'm not mad at it and um like I said I'm just gonna be a little bit more I'm gonna be more cautious about wearing items that I will actually wear look there's this chocolate satin skirt oh it's on sale now oh it's on sale now and then it comes in like a um a chartreuse color oh that's good oh it it is like half the price you know what i'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger on this this is definitely a buy i'm gonna insert a picture of what i'm looking at right now like this look this actually this looks expensive and even the color the the color that they paired it with is very complimentary as well mm-hmm yes oh and this top as well this also looks like a more luxurious top i like the direction that they're going in it's called the the zara women collection raglan shirt it has like a uh, a satin finish to it it looks silky oversized like automatic i feel like oversized items automatically give you an elevated look and my girl tracy ross she knows how to pair her items as well she knows she knows this is just a few items that i want to pick up and i think in order to have like a successful shopping experience with zara first off items that fit your style and items that look more expensive than it is um we can really get caught up in like buying items that's like really hot and trendy but honestly it's going to become a big waste it really is and i do hope that this video kind of serves as like a not a complete guide but like tips on like paying attention to details and items that give the appearance of it looking more expensive because you know we do want to look luxurious and we do want to look like we spent a dollar even though we really did it but yeah if you did enjoy this video then go ahead and give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos like this then go ahead and subscribe and until next time bye